Boy, has it been a minute since I did one of these. Today is what, what is today? This is Monday, December the 4th, and I went thrifting with a friend, found just some insane stuff that I could not say no to. I'm gonna list it, see what sells in uh, the interim before I take off for Asia. So I'm gonna show you one item at a time, probably make a guess about how long it'll take to sell, and then instantly cut to if it's sold or not. First item is this Patagonia Nano Puff jacket. It's not down fill, it's nylon or polyester fill, but these are just outrageously popular. It's like 4XL through right now. It's a women's large. Black is, uh, I think, a pretty popular color. It does have some, um, I don't know, looks like someone took an iron to it or something. There's irregularities in the fabric, but this will still sell. I'm gonna price it down because it does have flaws. I would guess I'm going to sell this within a handful of days, probably within four days, and I'll probably sell it for around the 60 or $70 mark. Maybe a best offer for 50, that's my guess. The Patagonia Puffer sold for $60 plus $5.99 shipping, and it sold on December 15th. So either 11 or 10 days to sell. I don't remember if I listed these on the 4th or on the 5th. My friend actually found this. This is Birdwell Beach Britches, and it's a jacket. It's a men's jacket. A really rare brand, has always been in exceptionally high demand. It's really good shape. The seasonality is correct. I don't know how popular their jackets are, but I imagine that I will probably sell this towards the end of my stay here, and I'll probably sell it for, I don't know, between 50 and 80 bucks would be my guess. This was actually the first item that did sell. It sold on December 10th for 94 bucks plus 7.99 shipping. Here's a pair of Ferrety pants. The pants are in really good demand. It's a size 34 chino, about 2X sell through on Ferrety pants. I don't know that I've ever found Ferrety pants before. The shirts are great sellers. This has been forever one of my favorite resale brands. And I'm guessing again, probably towards the end, probably gonna flip them for around 30, like 25 to 30 plus ship. The pants sold for 28 bucks plus 5.99 shipping on December 17th. If I hadn't been trying to flip these quickly, I probably would have held out for a little bit more money. These I may sell or may keep. It's Viori. These are shorts, swim trunks, slash maybe at a stretch hybrid shorts. And I'm gonna take one of these pairs. I found two of them with me, I think, as one of my kind of everyday use pairs of shorts just because they pack light. Viori, I guess, got a little bit persnickety with resellers and they were sending threatening notes. I think they've stopped doing that. I don't think that it's on the Vero list. I get the impression that it's safe to sell and Viori is always uh, in really good demand. Here's the other pair. I'm guessing this is gonna be the pair that I take. So I'm probably gonna take one, sell the other, or hang on to them as backups just in case. I think those are the same model. The Viore shorts, I kept both pairs because I'm gonna take one. If I end up liking them, I'll have another pair when those wear out. This is a pair of Lululemon shorts. These are athletic shorts and I may take them. I may hang on to them again as backups or to use when I come back from Asia because they're really nice and they fit me. They do not have the liner, which is good. So I could again have these as kind of a triple purpose swim, walk, uh, work workout shorts. These Lululemons I also decided just to hang on to. This I have to decide if I want to keep for myself for my travels or to sell. It is a phenomenal bolo. It's Icebreaker Merino and it's some kind of athletic purposed thing and it has this weird pocket down here that I kind of want to take advantage of. Uh, carry on some extra stuff. Merino is really popular among travelers and among really everybody and Icebreaker's Icebreaker Icebreaker's one of the most popular Merino brands. If you find anything Icebreaker, pick it up, it'll flip. Uh, if I do list this, it'll sell within a week because it doesn't have flaws either. If I price that at like 30, it'll flip right away. The Icebreaker shirt is a great combination of itchy and weird looking. So I should probably list it to sell it. I haven't done it yet. I'll get around to it. I hold to my guess that it'll only take a few days to flip. And finally, piece of the day. This was on a new clothing rack. A lot of this stuff was on a new clothing rack that came out. That is a Southwest slash Aztec 
pattern wool bomber jacket or uh, I don't know what's that called with the big I think it's a bomber maybe a Sherpa at a stretch I'm sure there's a better term for it and it's exactly the brand that you would want it's Pendleton the Beaver State line of Pendleton there are exact comps for this jacket that have sold for over 300 bucks the sell through is really good the only flaw here is that it has a lot of moth holes in the outer layer of the fabric, kind of all over. So I'm probably gonna list this, I would say max 200, I would guess. I'll probably flip that for around 100, 150, because I wanna price it down to move it. I'll have to look at the active comps, but I'm guessing that one may not sell in time, or it may sell like way towards the end, uh, just because expensive outerwear typically just this longer tail unless there's just insane demand for it and the demand for these is about 100 percent active versus sold so i'm not expecting that to fly off the shelves but we'll see i guess the pendleton sold for 120 bucks plus what was it 12 bucks shipping and it sold on the 18th which is 14 days which is great that is much quicker than i thought it would flip and I got a bunch of offers on it that were lower. So if I had really wanted to flip it quickly, I could have sold it for like 80, 90. Oh my God. I wish I looked like this in every video. So I sold all four items that I listed, sold all of them within about two weeks of listing them. If you wanna try this approach, like the high demand selling approach, I got something for you. I just put out the fifth edition of something called the Menswear Manifesto, which is 449 men's clothing bolo brands broken down largely by sell-through rate. So this will allow you to narrow in on this kind of high demand stuff that'll seem to sell itself. It's a pay what you want product. So figure out what you think that it's worth and then give me that for it. I think 20 bucks is completely fair. It will pay for itself. You just have to make a couple of sales. The brands are all color coded. So the brands that are over 90% are blue. So you can kind of just clock them scanning the page, and each brand is broken down by the category of clothing. Almost all the time within a brand, there are categories that will outperform other categories. For example, Black Diamond right now, t-shirts, pants, hoodies, doing well. Uh, jackets, not doing so well. Then this stuff is kind of in the middle. And then I give notes about what to look for, what to avoid, what's worth the most. Has made a lot of money for quite a number of people. Links in the description. So that's it, just a little haul, and now you will have learned if my reselling prowess is still mighty, uh, or if I made mistakes. I feel that I did not. And this is just a nice little way to make a little bit extra uh, cash before I leave. So we'll see. I was, well, you have already seen. So I'll see.